In today's video, we're going to look at how we can find the original value of something after it's already changed by a certain percentage. And we sometimes call this reverse percentages. For example, let's take this question, where we're told that the price of a house has increased by 15% and now costs £207,000. And we're being asked to find out what the original price must have been. So in this scenario, the £207,000 is the new price after some original price, which we don't know yet, has been increased by 15%. The best way to think about these questions is to remember that the original price is always equivalent to 100%. So in this example, where the price is increased by 15%, the new price is effectively 115% because we can think of it as the original 100% plus the extra 15%, which is 115% in total. This way of doing it is actually really helpful, because it means that we can find out what 1% is by dividing the £207,000 by 115 to get £1,800. And because £1,800 represents 1%, all we have to do to find the original price which remember we said earlier was 100%, is multiply £1,800 by 100, showing us that the original price was £180,000. Now, this here is a little bit messy and potentially a bit confusing. So you don't really want to lay out your workings like this in the exam. Instead, you want to first of all think of the £207,000 as equivalent to 115% of the original value. So if we want to find the original value, which is 100%, we first need to find 1% by dividing the 207,000 by 115, which is 1,800 pounds. And then we can multiply that by 100 to show that the original price was 180,000 pounds. So basically, this technique, and in fact every example that we're going to look at in this video, is all about finding out the value of 1%. And once you find out what 1% is worth, you can use that to find out the value of any percentage that you want. And this way of doing it in the box here is basically the simplest way of showing your workings. And this is how I would write this question in the exams. Let's try doing this for another one. In a Christmas sale, all the prices have been reduced by 20%. If Zara buys a pair of sunglasses for £72, what was the original price of the sunglasses? So in this question, we're looking for the original price before it was discounted. And we know that once it's been reduced by 20%, the new price is £72. Just like before, we can think of the original price as 100%. So if it's been reduced by 20%, then the new sale price must be 80%, because 100 minus 20 is 80. So we now know that 72 pounds is equivalent to 80%. And this means that to find 1%, we just have to divide 72 pounds by 80 to get 0 0.9 pounds. And then to find the original price, we just multiply this 0 0.9 by 100 to get 90 pounds. So the sunglasses must have cost £90 before the sale. Okay, so for this one, it says that the value of a car decreased by 8% in the first year to £12,880. What was the original price of the car? Well, this time, £12,880 is a new price, and we know that it's decreased by 8% from the original price which we don't know the exact value of, but we can think of as 100%. This means that the new price must be 100 minus 8, or 92% of the original. So we're going to have to do 12,880 divided by 92 to find that 1% is £140. And then we can multiply that by 100 to find that the original price must have been £14,000. Now, just before we finish, we need to look at a slightly different version of these reverse percentage questions. 
which are ones where they tell you how much the price has changed by, rather than telling you the new price. For example, in this question here, we're told that the price of all seasonal rail tickets increased by 5%, and that the price of the London to Bristol ticket increased by £42.50. What did the ticket cost before and after the increase? So just like before, let's think of it in terms of the original price, which is 100%, and a new price. But this time it's a bit different because we don't know the value of the new price. Instead, we're given extra details about the change in price. The question tells us that the price has increased by 5%, and that the actual value of that 5% increase is £42.50. So this time, to find 1%, like we've been doing for the other questions, we need to divide the £42.50 by 5, to find that 1% is £8.50. And so now, to work out the original price, we can just multiply the £8.50 by 100 to get £850. So the seasonal ticket cost £850 before the price increase. Then to find the new price after the increase, we just multiply £8.50 by 105, because we want the original 100% plus the extra 5%, which gives us 105%. So that will be £892.50. Or alternatively, you could have also just added the original price of £850 to the change in price of £42.50, and that would have also given you £892.50. So either way of doing it is perfectly fine. Let's try one more of this type. During an 18% summer sale, the price of a dress was reduced by £8.10. What was the original price of the dress? So this time, the £8.10 represents the 18% reduction from the original price of 100%. So to find 1%, we need to divide £8.10 by 18, which is £0.45. And then to find the original price, we just multiply this by 100 to get £45. So the original price was £45. Anyway, that's the end of this video. So I hope that all made sense. Don't worry if you find this technique quite tricky, it does take a bit of getting used to. And I definitely recommend just doing a whole bunch of exam questions and just check the mark scheme after every single one. But anyway, if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.